Today we will discuss bar bending schedule of beam. Hello and welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. I am Swati. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you will be the first to know when I upload something new. Also, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for latest updates. So, let's get started. So, in this video we will discuss BBS for beam. That is bar bending schedule of beam. So first beam specifications. So clear span of beam 5000 millimeter or 5 meter. So this is the beam. Okay. This is the section of beam. This is section on AA. This is the section line. You can see this is the section on AA. So clear span of beam. 5000 millimeter or 5 meter here, here to here. This is 5000 millimeter or 5 meter. This is clear span or length, also you can say. Next, development length LD. We are assuming here 40D, where D is diameter of the bar. Here, this is development length. Okay, development length this is this is 40D. Clear cover on any ends 30 mm. Okay, you can see this is clear cover. So here to here, this is all side, this is 30 mm clear cover. Okay. Bottom bars, three numbers of 16 millimeter dia. So this is here you can see this bar is bottom bar, this is Top bar. So here three numbers of bars are provided and those bars dimension 16 millimeter diameter. Three numbers of bars are provided here on bottom part, here in section line. This is the section. Okay. When you cut the section here, here you can see on plan you cannot see three bars, but in section you can see here three numbers of bars. Okay. Bottom three numbers of bars of 16 millimeter dia. 1, 2, 3. These 3 numbers here, 16 mm dia, 3 numbers of bottom bars and top bars, 2 numbers of 16 mm dia. These 2 top bars, so this is 2, 2 numbers of bars, 16 mm dia and bottom 3 numbers of bars, 16 mm dia. So you can see here, 3 numbers of bars, 1, 2, 3, 3 numbers of bars, 16 mm dia in, dia in bottom and in top, Top bars, two numbers of bars, 16 mm dia. Here also you can see. Now, stirrup spacing, 10 mm dia at the rate 200 mm center to center. Okay, stirrup spacing, 10 dia at the rate 200 mm center to center. So, this is the stirrup. Okay, this stirrup. Okay, here you can see. 10 dia at the rate 200 center to center. This is the zero. Okay. Now cross sectional area of beam 400 mm into 500 mm. So this is 400 and this is 500 mm. Okay. So cutting length of top bar. First you have to calculate cutting length of top bar. Where is top bar? This is Top bar. So length of one rod cutting length of top bar. Okay. So its formula is L. L is what is clear span. This is 5000 mm or 5 meter plus LD into 2. What is LD? LD is 40 D. 40 D is diameter of bar into 2 minus 2 into clear cover. Clear cover is 30 millimeter. So we'll put all values. So see here L clear span of beam 5000 mm. LD development length or anchor is that is LD on both sides. Okay. 40 D we have to take both sides that is 40 D. D diameter of bar is 16 millimeter. Okay. So top bar, so top bar. What is the diameter of bar? 16 mm. Two numbers of bar? 16 mm diameter. 16 mm. 
so clear cover two ends 30 mm okay so topper clear cover two ends this clear cover two ends 30 mm now cutting length of top bar that is length of one rod its formula l plus ld into 2 minus 2 into clear cover so l is 5000 plus ld 40 d 14 into 16 into 2 into 2 minus 2 into clear cover 2 into clear cover 30 so we are getting cutting length of top bar this is 5000 plus this 14 into 16 into 2 1280 minus 30 into 2 60. So cutting length of top bar we are getting 6220 millimeter 6220 mm or 6.22 meter. So cutting length of top bar we are getting 6.22 meter. Now we have to calculate total length for two bars. In top bar we have two bars. So to calculate total length of two bar what we need to do? Cutting length of top bar into number of bars. So we have two numbers of bars. So cutting length of top bar 6.22 into number of bar 2. We are getting 14.44 meter. This is 14, sorry 12.44 meter. The so 12.44 meter is total length for two bars. Okay. Now total length of top bar needed 12.44 meter for two bars of 16 mm diameter bar. So next, we have calculated uh, top bars. Now we have to calculate uh, cutting length of bottom bar. So cutting length for the bottom bar is calculated in a similar manner to the top bar. So the cutting length for the bottom bar is calculated in a similar manner to the top bar. So this also length of Cutting length of bottom bar also it will be 6.22 meter or 6.220 millimeter or 6.22 meter. Okay. Because diameter of bars are same. And um, see uh, diameter of bar is this is also 16. This is also 16. Okay. So cutting length of bottom bar also 6.22 meter. Only it will be changed number of bars. So total length will change. So total length for three bars. So in top bar we have calculated total length 6.22 multiplied with 2 because two numbers of bar, bars were there. But in bottom bar we have three numbers of bars. 1, 2, 3, 3 numbers of bars. See? 3 numbers of 16 dia. Uh, 3 numbers of 16 millimeter dia bar. So total length will be cut, cutting length into number of bars. So cutting length 6.22 meter. Uh, into 3 so we are getting cutting length uh, total length for 3 bars 18.66 meter okay total length for 3 bars 3 bottom bars 18.66 meter so total length of bottom bar needed 18.66 meter for 3 bars of 16 millimeter dia bar okay next we have to calculate cut cutting length of stirrups Cross sectional area of beam that is 400 mm into 500 mm. Here you can see 400 and this is 500. Now 400 is side A. Assume 400 this is side A and 500 is side B. This side is side B and this side is side A. Steer of spacing 10 dia at the rate 200 millimeter center center distance. So side A after clear cover. We have to calculate side A after clear cover. So it will be 400 mm. Okay. Side A 400 mm we are taking. Okay. 400 mm minus 2 into clear cover. Both side this side and this side. Both side clear cover we have to minus. Okay. Then only we will get the side A. So side A minus 2 into clear cover. Why? We have multiplied with 2 because two, 2 both side clear cover you have to deduct. So 400 minus 2 into clear cover you are getting 400 minus 2 into clear cover 30. We are getting 340 millimeter. Now same side B after clear cover. 
okay so side b after clear cover same 500 side b 500 minus this side 30 this side 30 so 500 minus 2 into clear cover 500 minus 2 into 30 we are getting 440 millimeter next this is cutting length of stirrup cutting length of one stirrup now we have to calculate cutting length is perimeter plus total hook length minus total bend length okay so we, here we got side a and side b the, here to here this length and here to here this length except clear cover now cutting length is perimeter plus total hook length minus total bend length so perimeter is 2 into a plus b a means this is total 500 meter minus this side 30 this side 30 that is a okay and this side 400 meter minus this side 30 this side 30 that is b so 2 into both side we have both side so 2 into a plus b plus total hook length we are taking 2 into 10d okay total hook length 10d so 2 into 10d minus total bend length 3 bends so for that 3 into 2d okay so we are getting 2 into a is 340 plus b is 440 plus 2 into 10 into d dia is 10 here steer of spacing dia, 10 uh, millimeter dia so 2 into 10 into dia is 10 minus 3 into 2 into dia is 10 so we are getting this is 1560 plus 200 minus 60 then it is cutting length 1700 mm or 1.7 meter. This is the cutting length of one stirrup. The total length for all stirrups we have to calculate that is cutting length into number of stirrups. So cutting length 1.7 meter and into number of stirrups. So what is number of stirrups? We have to calculate now number of stirrups. Now, number of stirrups required, clear span, it's, uh, we know 5000 millimeter, 5 meter here, it is. Now, spacing between stirrups, 200 mm center center distance, okay. Now, this is spacing 200 mm center center distance. Then, uh, to calculate the number of stirrups, we divide the clear span by the spacing and add 1 for the stirrup at the end okay this is the stirrup formula so this formula we will write here number of stirrup required is equal to l divided by stirrup spacing okay so number of stirrups we divide clear span this is l by spacing clear span by stirrup spacing and add 1 plus 1 okay so we are getting we will put all values l is 5000 mm divided by stereo spacing 200 mm plus 1 we are getting 26 numbers okay so number of stirrups required 26 numbers this also we have calculated number of stirrup required now so, we will need 26 stirrups for a beam with a clear span of 5000 mm and stirrup spacing set at 200 mm center center distance. Okay, this is number of stirrups, 26 numbers we have calculated. So, next here total length for all stirrups we have to calculate cutting length into number of stirrups. So, we will put that. Total length for all stirrups, cutting length 1.7 meter. This we have calculated into 26 numbers, number of stirrups we have calculated. So, we are getting total length of all stirrups 44.2 meter. Okay. Now, we will make the table. So, this is the VBS of beam, type of bar, 
डायमीटर ऑफ बार कटिंग लेंथ टोटल लेंथ इन नंबर ऑफ बार सो फर्स्ट टॉप बार टॉप बार डायमीटर सिक्सटीन एम एम डाया बॉटम बार सिक्सटीन एम एम डाया स्टीरअप स्टीरअप टेन मिलीमीटर डाया नाउ कटिंग लेंथ फॉर टॉप बार वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सिक्स पॉइंट टू टू मीटर कटिंग लेंथ फॉर बॉटम बार ऑल्सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड सिक्स पॉइंट टू टू मीटर बोथ विल बी सेम एंड स्टीरअप वन पॉइंट सेवन मीटर ना टोटल लेंथ दिस इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फोर फोर मीटर Okay, total length of top bar because two numbers of bar and to, uh, total number of bottom bar eighteen point six meter. Be because cutting length um, for top bar bottom bar both are same, but total length will be changed because number of bars are different. Number of bars for top bar two numbers, number of bars for bottom bar three numbers. So total length for top bar is twelve point four four meter and uh, total length for bottom bar eighteen point six six meter. And stirrups total length forty four point two meter. Number of bars for top bar it's two, for bottom bar it's three. And stirrups number of bars twenty six is we have calculated. So this is the BBS of beam. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, share the video, and If you have any query let me know in the comment section thank you for watching